Hello and welcome everyone to another episode. Yes, so, um, I've decided, you can see, the KS, or uh, well, well, KSS, the MSS Moon Space Station will be launched here in a second. I'm not really 100% certain how I'm going to do this. Now, I kind of want to copy a little bit of how the, um, Kerbin Space Station looked. Because, honestly, uh, I don't know if you guys agree, but I thought it looked pretty freaking epic once it got uh, close to completion, which even at this point when I'm shooting this video, it is still not complete. So we'll be adding to that again very soon, but right now I just want to add some more parts to this thing, and I'm going to go with a little bit of a different design, nothing too drastic, but we're going to go down to three. Uh, instead of four and I'm gonna see if that kind of helps out on the part situation that we kind of ran into Because that was one of the main issues I was having and I'm still having so Let's bring these over and uh, well that doesn't look right to me So let's flip these around I don't know if that's lined up like I it always looks lined up to me, but then afterwards I'm like, yeah, that's off just by a little bit. I think it looks good right here. I don't know. These gaps look uniform, so. And that's what she said. But, uh, wow. Let's get, let's get this over here. Um, see, the main problem with doing this is the fact that none of the parts want to stay lined up now. So, like, the fact that that's happening is just flat out annoying. So, let, let's see. Alright, this is looking good. Uh, what we're going to do here now is we're going to detach these and then save that. There we go. It's our main issue with this thing. Now, let's see. If I put it on one of these, it should line up. There we go. Perfect. So let's get... Uh, where is it? This one. There we go. Um, no? Doesn't want to attach? There we go. Perfect. So we got three this time. And I'm going to change it up a little bit. And, you know, I'm going to test it out different ways on different space stations just to see how this platform really works. Now, I'm not going to go so OD with the struts like I did last time. I'm just going to put a few, which are going to be kind of like this instead. And I think that should help out a lot because I did kind of freak out with the struts. For those of you who watched my construction video, um, and then also the people that have OCDs that I drove crazy because I forgot to use symmetry with certain ones. Yeah, I apologize for that. Um, I'm pretty OCD when it comes to this stuff myself. Like, I want everything to be almost exactly the same, exact, perfect in every kind of way. But the main thing is, is that when you don't notice it when you're building, you end up just screwing everything up. But I did notice some of that stuff. Uh, I did shoot, or not shoot a video. I ended up working on it a little bit in between uh, when I actually shot that video and everything else. I, I, I eventually fixed all that stuff, I think. So I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not 100% certain, but I believe I did fix everything on it. So Let's see. All right, these only got three on there. That drives me crazy, too. These have three, and then these have two whatever so let's see um these have to be i'm gonna have to twist this around there we go now what i'm gonna do uh and this helped me a little bit but if you see how this handle is when i went to go dock up the second part for the uh what is it called the uh solar panels when i went to go dock up the solar panels themselves I used these handles as the guides for, you know, making sure everything was centered and straight. So this is looking pretty good as it is. I mean, I don't even want to make changes to it. That's how good it looks. But one thing I'm going to do, uh, let's see. I'm, I, I actually have to make sure that this is all centered up and everything. But I'm going to see about putting some docking boards on this. And I think I'm going to put smaller size docking boards on it just for now. And I, I think I'm just going to stick with that. Let's see how that looks. Um, 
I don't want it to look too poopy looking. I, I just, uh, I'm not a big fan of poo. So, let's see. Um, bring this down and over in a sec, actually. Yeah, wow, I, I'm, I'm kind of like jumping ahead of myself a little bit, but this really shouldn't be too much work. Now, another person did mention that I should have put better lights on this thing, and I like this light for the simple fact that it's very subtle. It's a very weak lamp. It, it doesn't produce like the other lamp does where it you could like basically light an entire surface of a planet with that kind of a light. I like something like this because it will only light up like half of it and it just to me it looks better. That To me that looks a lot better than having some massive lamp basically just illuminating everything and especially if you have like 20 of them it is a little OD that's all I can say so we'll bring this over here and just kinda see how it looks uh, I'm gonna have to move this around a little bit but let's see I gotta twist it around I think no that's looking good the way it is right here that's perfect so we got like you know basic one one of the main trusses pointing down that's kinda what I wanted and uh, you know overall this main truss isn't really looking that bad compared to the last one so I, I could extend it out one more and I'm thinking I might do that but I'll probably do it off camera if anything but it, it is a moon space station so I don't want it to get too intensely big and that's what she said now I, I just don't want it to be huge because of the fact that it is a moon space station it does not need to be like just overly big it just doesn't need that so what's going on here with my build there we go now let's see if I spin this thing can I get what I'm looking for yeah the perfect so I'm gonna set up a few other things uh, we're gonna add some we have to add these wheels and those are kind of like you add them or you're screwed kind of things. Alright, come on. There we go. So, let's get this one on there, and then we'll put one sideways, and another one sideways, and we should have pretty good control of this thing after that. It, it Really, I don't see very much problems with any of this stuff. And one thing I'm going to add, too, and this isn't a normal thing for me to add, because it is a space station, I think I'm gonna add some of the SAS control. I, I don't, or the the RCS controls to it. I really don't know if I should put these on here or not, but um, they look like crooked to me for some reason. I don't, I don't know why that looks so crooked. I, I think it has to do with the fact that um, these things aren't perfect here. Uh, let's see. Bring this up here, and then we gotta add them like this, yeah. Now, I was thinking of adding these, I, I don't know. I'll put them in the center, actually. Why, why not? Bring this over. I'll put them in the center only because they do... Um, I, I'm probably never gonna use them, but it's, it's always worth having. And I know the symmetry on this thing is off a little bit, but uh, whatever. There's only so much I can do. There we go. Bring this up. Get it like right there. Perfect. Alright, yeah, I, I know this piece is a little crooked, but it lines itself back up again, so it's not that big of a deal. So, let's get... Let's see, we're going to need a battery and a docking port. And... Uh, yeah, well, uh, let's see. I, I can't even find what I'm looking for. There we go. I hate that these, uh, this, whatever it's called, the, the brand adapter, like you have this adapter right here, but then you have to go to the next page for this one. There's so many times I'll just take this one out and I'm like, okay, yeah, this is what I'm looking for. And I'm trying to attach it up and I'm like, yeah, no, that, that looks like crap. Bring that there and we should be done with this almost. I uh, just got to slap on a few more struts and... Whoa, yeah, no. Actually, I'll line that up. I liked how that looked. There we go. 
Now, this is going to be our main... You know, the space station isn't going to be as big, obviously. I don't want to get too intensely big with the space station. I, I want to keep it a little bit smaller because it, it's... You know, having Kerbin Space Station and how much time it took to build that, I don't want to just basically make a uh, same kind of space station. You know, I don't want them... I don't want them to look the same. That That's kind of my main thing with this is I, I'd rather have them look somewhat different so let's add on some RCS tanks and I think these look should should look kinda cool looking I think they give the struts a, the uh, main truss a little bit more character and uh, they kinda fill it out a little bit better I, I think that looks a little bit better than having them just open so let's Get this in the center here. Uh, bring this. No, I did not want that. There we go. Something like that. I don't know. I think that looks cool to me. I, I, if you guys don't like it, whatever. Um, and here I am too, complaining about parts, but yet I'm adding nine of these. And if I do all of them, it'll be like 27 of them total. Yeah, I think I'm. Yeah, I'm not going to go with this. Let's go with something like this. Now, if I turn off the symmetry a little bit, uh, let's see, twist this around. If I can get it the way I want it, then I'll keep it. But if I can't, then I'm not. I kind of want these all to be in the center, but I don't think that's going to happen. Because these pieces need to be rotated every specific way, and I don't think that's gonna happen let's see come on there we go um yeah that looks kind of poopy looking let's see I don't think I'm gonna be able to get these in the center to be honest but we'll, we'll just try here for a second for fun yeah that that no um can't this just go up There we go. Um, something like that. I think it looks kind of cool looking, even though they're a little, little crooked and stuff. I mean, we could fix that, but I can't. You know, it, it won't let you mount these to the side or any other place. So, I, I could put them on the side, just like this, um, just like this. But I don't really know if I want to do that. You know what? I think that's all right looking. I, I'm, I'm kind of okay with that. But I, I think we're only going to put um, just three of them. And it doesn't really disrupt the docking port in any kind of way. Because I don't really want anything on these trusses to exceed the height of this docking port. If, if you guys get what I'm saying. Uh, we'll get rid of this. Just copy and paste. And uh, I think it should be good now. Yeah, there we go. So, yeah, I don't want anything to exceed the height of this docking port. But, we, you know, we have stuff like this where we could kind of just hang stuff off. We can park stuff on here. And that is always a good thing. It's always good to have with a space station just lots of extra docking boards everywhere. So, just for me, it really works out in the end. So, we'll get rid of this. And we'll change that over to a docking port. And bring that up. We're perfect. Now, I'm going to set up all the other struts and stuff like that for takeoff. But that I think this will be our next takeoff. Our, whoa. Our next launch, I should say. Um, getting this to the moon. We're really going to start getting stuff to the moon now. And... We're going to start having, you know, a little bit more of a presence in the Kerbin system other than Kerbin itself. Because I'm, I'm getting sick of the way it looks out there. We need to launch some satellites as well. Um, I'll probably cover those in a later episode. But, uh, yeah. Anyways, guys, if you like what you see here, subscribe to all you new people. Welcome. And, uh, yeah, I will see you next time.